money or your team, it's because you're doing something. If nobody was talking about Wake Up Now, that'd be because Wake Up Now is not doing anything worth talking about. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. So you literally got CEOs of companies talking bad about our company. Why? Paying people to write articles about our company because our company is taking a lot of their distributors because they're not making any money to bring them over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True story. Yeah. It's crazy. There's some some people from that company in this room right now. But they're, they're part of uh, one now. You know what I'm saying? So they're not spies. They're not spies. They're not here like this. <laughs> Taking notes. Hey, listen, uh, CEO, I won't mention his name. It starts with a B. There's only one more letter here. Hey, you know, uh, you know yeah, these guys, are, these guys are pretty badass. The cop plan. The cop plan looks like, you know, Crazy man, looks like you know, nothing we've ever seen. All right, guys. So, so with that said, we're gonna get started, guys. So, who's ready to be a champion? Yeah. Yeah. Who's ready to learn? Yeah. All right, guys, so here's the thing, guys. Uh, make sure that I always like to start off my journey with this: learn with the intent to teach. Okay, everybody say that. Learn, learn with the intent to teach. This is the business of duplication, so you want to make sure that every time that you're learning something, you're eventually, your mind should be eventually, I'm going to pass this on to other people, people in my organization. That makes sense, guys? Yes. So pretend like the information that you're going to learn here, you're going to, after we're done, your whole team is going to come up here, they're going to sit down, you're going to be up here, and you're going to be trained on this information. Would you learn the stuff differently? Yeah. Yes, you'd be taking copious notes. If somebody was interrupting you, you'd tell them, hey, shut up. Does that make sense, guys? If somebody is interrupting you and wants to all of a sudden have a conversation with you, tell them, hey, in a respectful way, shut up. <laughs> but do let them know, hey, listen, man, just pay attention. You know what I mean? Because it's not fair. Let's say I don't want to pay attention. You're talking to me and I'm talking to you, but we're interrupting somebody around us. It's not fair to them. So let's make sure we're taking notes. So, guys, you know, to get started with the training, I, I want to you know, share a couple of things with you. Uh, when I barely started in the industry, every... At the time, it was every Monday. It was every Monday there was a training at the Proud Bird in downtown Boston by the airport. Okay, and I used to go to that training for that particular company every Monday for years. Like maybe I missed it if I had like a flu or something. You know what I mean? But I would never miss that training. But my mentor said to me, JC, you've got to work. You've got to pay the price. You got to become an expert. Okay. So I started going and I started going to trains and I never missed a training. Okay. Now, granted, from time to time we're gonna have things that that, that you know prevent us from going. Does that make yeah. sense, guys? Yeah. yeah. That's understandable. Life happens. But don't let it happen to you because you're lazy. Does that make sense? Because yeah. you had a long day. Like, dude, a lot of people had a long day and they're still going to be there. Some people had a longer day than you. There, there's one person here that's sick as heck. You know what I mean? There's some people that are going to come in here sick and they're still going to come in here and take notes. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that, that's what I recommend you to do. Look, guys, when I was, you know, when, when my friends were playing, I was going to events. When my friends were goofing around, I was studying. When my friends were soaking up the sun, I was soaking up ideas. When my friends were making love, well, that, that again. <laughs> didn't take a break. You know what I'm but you get the point, you know what I'm saying? You guys get the point. So, hence my son Maximus, right? <laughs> right? So, no, but what is the point, man? The point is that we paid the price. Now, we've been able to do a lot of things that my friends that were telling me that it wasn't possible, that I was wasting my time. Now, we've been able to accomplish and do things that they can never do. Why? Because I was one of those champions. Like, you guys all here, we got a packed room here. Why? Because I was willing to pay the price. And it's, guys, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. I say that all the time because it's so true. Some of you guys are going to have days and weeks where you are thinking and contemplating of quitting. That's where we're going to see where the champion comes in. Remember, you can tell the size of the problem by the size of the man. That, excuse me. You can tell the size of the man by the size of the problem that gets him down. You can tell the size of a woman by the size of the problem that gets him down. Some of you guys are going to go find a three and your whole dream team is going to quit. What should I do? Go find a couple of three people that get another three people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've literally seen people in other companies where they had a thousand dollar a month residual. Their whole team, oh, they rebuilt it. But you know how many people they needed to make a thousand bucks? Put it to you this way. They needed about twenty to thirty thousand dollars in volume to make a thousand bucks. So let's say twenty-five thousand. How many people would twenty-five thousand divide by hundred? Twenty-five. Twenty-five what? Twenty-five hundred. Fifty. So that person, two fifty. Two fifty. You got two zeros. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So two hundred and fifty people. 
So for those people that are make a thousand dollars, you said joint company needed about two hundred fifty people active paying a hundred bucks a month to keep their thousand bucks a month. Does that make sense here? Here you could do that with about twenty people. You can make six hundred bucks a month with twelve people. That is nothing, man. You guys are cutting your teeth on something that's very easy for those of you guys that are here for the first time. So right now I want to talk about guys. I want to talk about the compensation plan, and we're gonna also talk about the back office. Okay, we're gonna talk about the services, how to use the services. How to you know uh, get get the travel discounts and a bunch of different things like that. But before we get into that, I want to get into the comp plan. You guys really got to understand the comp plan and how you're gonna get paid. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. yes. So a lot of you guys might understand it, but a lot of you guys understand it on the surface. You don't know. No, there's some details that is very important that you really grasp because I've already seen in the short time I've been here. I haven't even been here three months. In this short time, I've already seen people miss out six hundred bucks because of one wrong place person. It's not that they didn't have the people. They had them. They just misplaced them. First thing about the compliment I want to share with you is this. If they are in your holding tank, they do not count. The volume doesn't show. There's a guy on our team that had two people in his holding tank last month. So what he had to do is he realized, oh, I don't got the volume. I need four more people. He went out and did a bunch of meetings, which was good. He signed up four new people, placed them, but he realized... I didn't need four people. I only needed two. Because he had two in the holding tank that he hadn't placed yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if they're in your holding tank, you got to place them. Who, who does, does anybody here not know what the holding tank is? Raise your hand. Okay. The holding tank, when you sign somebody, when you when, when you already sign up, you can activate. Okay. So he's going to show you. This is the holding tank right here. Go to both organizations. That's the holding tank. When you get into your back office, you can activate. See, I'm just... Waiting room is on. When you when you get started, it's off, right? right? You have to activate it yourself. If you activate it yourself, that means that when people go on your website and they sign up, they're going to automatically get placed under you, front line. If you activate your waiting room or your holding tag, I call it, they go to that place that Joseph just showed you. So as long as they're there, the way he showed you, that volume, those sales are not paying you. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So this person that's in the room here, right, who's an absolute chef, and he went out and hit found a three-ring artist, Ooh. he's on the four people, he only on the two. <laughs> but because he didn't know this stuff, it's he's new. He's been in the business about a month. So what happened? He had two people in his holding tank. So he, he was four people, sure, but because he hadn't placed those two. If he had to place those two, then he'd only need two, right? Yeah. So he's on the four. So kudos to him. He had the, the right. He requalified founder three. He already was a founder three. He requalified founder three. Okay, but it's very important that you guys get that. That if they're in your holding tank, does the volume count, guys? No, no, no. you gotta place it now. Here's the thing, guys when you got your holding tank, like let's say this is your holding tank and you got names in here. By the way, in my office, there's a darker marker. Could you give me a darker marker, please? There's, the, there's your holding tank, and there's people in there. As long as they're there, they got 90 points of volume. All these people got 90 points, okay? As long as they're there, it, it doesn't count. You don't see the volume. So, like, let's say, for instance, you got three people in here, 90 points, 90 points, and you got three, three, thank you, bro. She looks like the same color. <laughs> there's no black There's no black ones. <laughs> you gave me a green or a green. Is there, is there one of them? <laughs> But it does it's probably darker green because this one sucks. Yeah, see, it's a little bit better. So, there you go, just put it there. There you go. Yeah, we'll just use black. By the way, black and red is not always advised to use, just so you guys know. For some reason, experts saying in public speaking to use black or red, we're gonna use it anyways. Because we're badasses. Okay? So in this example, this person is a one or three, but let's say he didn't have these two. Okay? Well, all this guy's got to do is place two of these people on that leg that needs them. Yeah, he's just hold on to them. All right, thank you. All he's got to do is place these two of these people on the leg that needs them. But if they're in here, that volume is not going to count. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. You're not going to get paid on that volume. Yeah. Is it hot in here or is it just me? Yeah. It's hot. Yeah, can you put the AC up? Thank you. Okay. So the people have to get placed. They gotta get out of that holding tank, and you gotta place them. There's, I've already seen people in my organization that miss founder three because they have people in their holding tank. They had it. They have the people in the body. They just didn't place them. You know how much that hurts? That's six hundred bucks that you could have got paid on. It's like you just got six hundred dollars in your pocket, and somebody slipped them out of your pocket. 
Does that make sense? Yes. Guys, do not let your teams go through that. I've got a notepad that the last days of the month, I'm looking at my, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I'm looking at my back office, and I'm looking at everybody's structure and their volume. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Watch. Can you go to the tree and see it a little bit? This is very important that you guys do this. Because here's the thing, guys. Do you guys think if you get your people paid, they're going to be excited? Yes. 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 The re remember the expiration date training? Yes. The expiration date. Getting people paid is one of the things that extends people's expiration date more than anything else. Getting people paid. So watch this. So this is, so it's loading, right? So watch. Okay. So click on, let me see. Click on that guy. Yeah. So here's how you do it, man. That pops up right there. So it's make home. Yeah, that pops up. And then you click on that. Then it opens up his three levels. Okay? Right now, we'll talk about the three levels. Opening up the three levels up here. So check this out, guys. Here's how you look at the volume. You look at this side. See, it has this LMF3. That's last month. That's last month's volume. This team has 3,198 in volume, points in volume. So that's got more than you. What you're looking for for fund three is 360. But see, TM, I guess that means this month, is 48. So this month just started. The volume that you're looking for has got to come from TM this month. Some people make a mistake. They're like, oh, I got the volume. <laughs> Towards the end of the month, they look at last month's volume. And then they're like, I didn't qualify. Another indicator for you, too, is if this is a red X, yeah. that's not a qualified leg yet. So this X will disappear when you have a minimum of 360 in volume. Perfect. So that it will disappear. But if in green checks mean paid, right? You know, I mean they haven't paid. So if you look at somebody's date and they don't, this isn't a green check and it's already passed. You know they haven't paid, right? Yep. So when that's where it's gonna help you with your calculations with that. Right? So the red X, okay. Now let, let's say for instance, right here on the on the IBO, he's got 270. How many people is that? Three, because three times ninety equals two seventy. So you know he's at two seventy. What I'm even looking at is down You know he needs one more person under that, because you need three sixty from three legs. Yep. So this is you, okay? And you got three legs and half a face. <laughs> so check it out. What you need is three legs with how much in volume? Three sixty. Three sixty for powder three. Three sixty. Okay. That leg right there for that particular guy has $3,198 in volume last month. This month has $48. Because of the X, you know, that leg is not a qualified leg yet for Founder 3, which is understandable. I mean, we're on the second of the month. Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. This leg last month did 90. This leg last month did not qualify. That was not one of your three. You guys follow me? But it's cool if that one doesn't qualify because he probably has other legs that did qualify. Let's scroll it. See, this one last month had 540. Was that a qualified leg? Yes. 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 But zero for this month. Okay? Then keep going. This leg had 4,105. Is that a qualified leg? Yeah. So qualified leg. That's a great leg. Keep going. This leg had 450. So this guy's way more than founder three. That's a founder four, right? That guy's a founder four. No, actually. Yeah, founder four. Yeah, founder four. So the TM is where you got to look at it and you got to see the red indicator. So I, I had some people last month. One guy had like 810 on, on his leg, then had like 1560 on the other leg, and had like 270 on that one. How many people does he have? Needs one. Of course you know. Of course our founder four knows. So this person needs one person. 90, every, every time you sign up for 100 bucks, how many points does it give you? 90. 90. So guess what? If he signs up another person here, that's another 90 points. You add that up, that's 360. So he, all you got to do, like, let's say you're there in the final three. Let's say you got 270, 270, 270. You need three people on three different legs. So it doesn't matter if you've got the whole 12, 1,200 here. Let's say you got 1,200 points there. That doesn't matter. If you got to have 360 on three different legs. Remember, you got to have three that got three. Okay. Very important. Now, check this out. Let's say you recruited somebody. Now, this is for the new persons, people. People that are not founder dreams, okay? Because a lot of you guys, I'm sure you already know this. Let's say you got this guy. He's got this truck. Oops, not this one. Okay. 
let's say you've got one person in your holding tank, right? Okay, you got somebody in your holding tank with 90 in volume. Where can you put this guy where it'll help out your organization the most? First Who says the first? Who says the first leg? There's a first leg. Who says the first leg? Okay. Who says the middle leg? Let's see. Yeah. Why the middle leg? Exactly. Yes. Because if you place the guy here, this guy is a D3. If you place him here or here, that guy's not a D3. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So guess what? You create this guy D3, cool. That guarantees volume for next month. His membership is paid next month, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that pretty smart? Yep. Yeah. That's pretty smart. And the guy deserves it too, because guess what? He got two. Yeah. But then guess what? But let's say you don't put him there. Let's say for some reason his credit card doesn't go through and he's on vacation. You don't got 90 points there. Because let's say he, he, his uh, auto ship, his membership didn't go through. His credit card didn't go through. You can't, he can't be reached. Next one, he can't do his, his auto ship. You know, his membership. But if you put him there, his membership is paid next month. He got his three. So his membership is free. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that guarantees you volume. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Like, let's say, for instance, you recruit three people. So, so where would you put the three people? Obviously, the first one goes here. Right? In this example, where would you put the other two? Over here? Okay. Where else? This one? Yep. Why? Because now you're helping this guy go D3. He's happy. He's excited. He's like, hey, thank you. You see support from his upline. And that guarantees another 90 of volume for you next month. Does that make sense? Then this guy, you just created this power lake. Now, this guy's got people under him. So does this guy, so does this guy, this guy. These guys, they get their power lake built faster. I'm not a big advocate. Like, for instance, I wouldn't go and build two legs for this guy. Because then what if this leg takes off, and then I put two legs that take off, and the guy's making a ton of money, and he doesn't have to bring anybody. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, like, when I build, like, let's say, for instance, I'm building four legs. I pretty much, if I, I recruit down the legs like this. I built one leg for people. Because if I don't do that, imagine if I just start stacking them like this. Three, they get three, they get three, they get three. Work. They're all going to get spoiled. They're not going to have to work. They're going to say, why should I bring anybody? You're, you're, you're doing all the work for me. Does that make sense? You're doing all the work for me, but on the, on the contrary, if I build a power deck for people, then guess what's happening? They all have an incentive like, man, look at my team is growing. You mean to tell me I just get two and I'm two that get three and I make six hundred bucks a month? Oh, that's easy. You're giving them an incentive, but you're still showing them how to fish. You're not fishing for them. If you put three people under them, it's like you're fishing for the person. And then guess what? They're not gonna do anything. Think about it. Let's say you give me to let's say you put three people under me. One, two, three. They go out there, build their three. I make you six hundred bucks a month. You're like, dude, let's make your list. Let's call some people. For what? I'm already found a three. I'm cool with that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now you shot yourself in the foot. But on the contrary, let's say you put one leg on me, this guy, and he gets his three. You're like, hey, Jay-Z, check it out. If you just, if we just recruit two people and those two people go D3 or get it, build a team of three, you're making 600 bucks a month. Really, I thought it was three. It was three, but I already put one that has his three. You just need two more. Now, I got an incentive to make a list, go to a training, learn how to do the business and advice some people. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So now you're getting into people that you normally would not have got to. This is very important stuff for you to do. Don't handicap your people. Think about it, man. That wouldn't it suck if you got a guy that makes a thousand bucks a month and you made him a three, uh, uh, founder three, and then make the maximum of my founder three thousand bucks a month? Would that, would that suck? Yeah. It would, because guess what? He's never digging in and getting his people. So, any questions on this, guys? Remember, there's no dumb questions. I have a question. Yeah. When you said the second leg, when you said if the person doesn't qualify for their, um, their membership by month, like they went on vacation or something, but they're, they had two IBOs under them, you said to still place the third person under, under them? Well, if I'm going to place them and that's where I need the volume, I would place them under them. The only reason I was questioning that was because, from my understanding, when the person is not active as an IBO and they have two under them, it won't qualify for the Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. If their membership is not active for that month, right? So, like, let's say, for instance, that month, yeah, their, their membership has to be active. Okay. 
But like, let's say, for instance, that month they're active and they got two. If I place one under him, now all of a sudden his membership is paid for the following month. So let's say the following month the guy's membership credit card doesn't go through. You wouldn't have got those 90 points, but now he's got them automatically. He's got those 90 points automatically. Yeah. And not only that, if somebody's not active on their membership, guys, I'm not hooking them up like that. Yeah. Heck no. If I know that you're not building, I'm not putting nobody under you. The people that the spillover is a privilege for the people that are hustling. My time is a privilege for the people that are hustling. If I got a guy that's not working and he's just a bum, forget him. I'll go find some new people. All right, guys, so here's the thing, guys. Director three. Director three. You need three people and you're making a hundred bucks a month. This is very important. If you've got one and two people, but you don't got the third leg, do you make any money? No. No. You gotta have three. Very important. I don't want somebody to say, but I got two. What did I make with two? You don't got three, dude. You gotta have three. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you place somebody below you, does it, if their waiting room is on, does it go in their waiting room or do no. you know where you place them? Where you place them. Okay. Yeah. So if, if they're in your waiting room and, and somebody places somebody under you and your waiting room's on, that doesn't matter. Once they place them under you, they go under you. Yeah, wherever they place them. So on this here, very important that your people understand. Hey, listen, man. Guys, the company is, in this example, they got $300 in volume. Okay. They're paying you 100 of it. That's 33%. The only thing that the company is asking you is to get three. And place volume counts, right, Joseph? Yep. Like, let's say you got two, but you're working your upline, put this guy under you. You're qualified. Yep. That, that still qualifies you. That's why I recommend everybody in their first three to, to, to six months, you're, if you want to make six figures enough, if you want to make $100,000 and more, you're going your first three to six months. This is how I put up on my mentor. I've done it and it's worked every time. Is our goal is the 2020 vision, which means 40 directs. 40 people that I personally recruited myself. In less than three months, I already got like 40 what in this company. And I always do the same thing. My last company, my first month, I recruited 21 people. You know what I mean? And I had like, over the course of two years, I had over 130 or 140 directs over the course of two years. Now, in the beginning, I didn't have a team, so I had to go out there and recruit a bunch of people. Does that make sense, guys? But the reason why I mention that is this. Because if you're building like that, and let's say you're building four legs, and you're building legs down, let's say I got 40 people. I could stack 10, 10, 10, 10, right? Then that creates volume for everybody up, and it motivates everybody up. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So if I see somebody that's working, and let's say this guy, let's say this guy is at the end of the month, this guy's got his three. This guy's got one, that's got one, that's got one, this guy's got two, and, and that's it. And I got a guy, I got a couple guys in my holding tank. If this guy's one person away, he's one person away from Founder 3, isn't he? Yeah. Where's he needed? Founder 3. Founder 3. So I would go and, and hook him up right there. Now, but before I do that, I like to talk to the people and say, hey, listen, I got a guy that I'm going to place under you. Where would you like me to place him? Because I want this guy to go, let's say this is you. Okay, this you and you're excited. I'm gonna hook you up, right? You wanna go father three. Maybe I'll talk to you. Hey, I got this third person. Where do you want me to place him? He might say, Hey, this guy right here is real serious. We got a meeting at his house tomorrow with ten people. He's excited. He's a go getter. I've worked with him before. Whatever. I want you to place him under there. Perfect. I'll do it there. See, if I put it here, this guy's automatically a D three, which is good. But I talk to the upland, I talk to the team first. Because what if this guy quit the business? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? But this guy's excited. He's got a meeting with 10 people at his house the next day. Don't I want to help him instead? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And it still gets this guy power three because he's still got three people under that leg. See how that works? Mm -hmm. That's why you got to always be looking at your back office and be in communication with your people and find out where they need those people placed or what they got to do. Like this guy, let's say I didn't have somebody in my holding tent. I go and I talk to him. I talk to this guy and this guy. Hey, what do we got to do? This guy, you need one more to go direct to three. That one more gets you to founder three. Let's do meetings for you and this guy. Let's say we do two meetings for this guy, two meetings for this guy. We only set up one person. Guess where that one person goes? Right there. And everybody wins. Yeah. Let's say it's, it's uh, Joseph and Javier. This is Joseph. Let's say that, that's Javier. 
Joseph and Javier, here's what we got to do. Is that, you know, we got one more day to the end of the month. Let's go do, I'm going to be at the Starbucks on Garfield and Firestone from 12 to 4. Whether you bring people or not, I'm going to be there. But I'm there for you. So you guys better bring me some people because we got to get you followed through. We got to get you directed through. And here's the deal that we make. Let's see if we're on the same page. If we recruit just one person because both of you guys try, we'll put it right here so Javier can go direct to three. And that gets you to follow through. Is that fair, guys? Yes. Perfect. So from 12 to 4, I'll be there. Like, I'm going to be there. Let's say they're like, dude, can we do it from 4 to 6? Okay, cool. Let's just do it. Does that make sense, guys? So you got to take the initiative. I used to literally tell my team, dude, from 12 to 8 p.m., I want to be at the Starbucks. You guys better bring me people all damn day long. And I see how many people bring me people to the Starbucks. We're going to be doing a bunch of one of us. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, you have to make things happen. So in this example, boom, that guy is power three. Now, keep in mind, between three people, between three and 11 people, you are only making $100. Don't complain if you don't make six, anything more than 100 bucks if you're not a father three. You guys follow me? Yeah. If you're not, if, if, if you've got like, let's say for instance, you've got that right there. That is only 100 bucks. You guys are clear on that? Yeah. But see, when you do that, guys, you got 12 people times 100 bucks when you get father three. That's twelve hundred dollars in dollars, correct? Yeah. Going into the company, the company's gonna pay you six hundred. What percentage is that, guys? Fifty percent. That's a lot of money to pay. Residual. Residual. And all the company is asking for, get your twelve in a certain structure. Remember last last week's training when we trained them? How much volume do you need in a regular network marketing company to make five hundred bucks a month? About ten thousand. This company saying, dude, what do you do for twelve hundred? But you got to have your 12 in that structure. Three that get three. And they're not even asking you to get three that get their three perfect. If one of your three gets one that gets one that gets one, that counts. They're making it simple, man. So that's breakage to the company. So here's the thing. Let's say you got a group of 10 people. And you're not, you're not a uh, founder three person. First of all, don't wait till the end of the month, guys. You should have your qualifications done by the 25th. Does that make sense, guys? If you keep waiting for the end of the month, watch the system stall. Because everybody's putting orders in and people wait. Then you can't get your people in. Yeah. Then it's a hassle. Don't wait till the end of the month. I would highly encourage you guys to get your final three done by the 25th. <coughs> Be a champion. That's what, that's what this Eagle School is about. We're going to create people that by the 25th, they knock it out. Done. Take the rest of the month easy. I'm still helping my people, still doing meetings, helping them qualify and stuff like that. But I got my qualifications done and out of the way. Because if you get your qualifications done and out of the way, you can help your people, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. You could be a, a leader that's like, dude, no, I'm here for you. Because I took care of business first. Then you go out there and help your people. So in this example, let's say I got only 10 people. I'm not a director three. I'm not a part of three. Guys, I'm going to go out there and talk to my team, especially where I need the volume, and do personal meetings to go out there and get my two. Let's say I go out there and do some meetings. I set up Javier. Then Javier is this guy right here. Boom. Okay, I still need one more person under that leg. Worst case scenario, I'm going to call my mom. I'm going to call my aunt, my cousins, and do a position over the phone or at the very least give them a membership, give them a gift. Does that make sense? Uh, I'm going to send you a video. I'm going to give you a gift. Look at that video. Just give me your permission because I'm going to need your information. I'm going to sign you up as my customer because I want to give you a gift. I did a raffle. You, your name came up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you a $100 gift that's worth a couple hundred dollars a month. I want you to try my services from my company. If you like them, which I'll show you how to use them, you're going to stay with this forever. It's going to save you a couple hundred dollars a month. Does that make sense? Yes. They see the video? Sign up all day long. Who would not pay 100 bucks to hit bottom three and make 600? Yeah. Guys, that's like business 101. But I'm not making it up. I'm signing somebody up. I'm letting them know. I'm going to hook you up. That's not that. Very easy. Or let's say I'm like, hey, listen, take a look at this membership. You know what I mean? I, I, I want you to see the value of this. And I want to see if you can become my customer. Guys, you can literally ask people for a favor. Hey, I just started my business. And I wanted to see if you could help me out. I wanted to see if you could take a look at, you know, what my company has to offer. And if you, if you like it, 
I want to answer your question so you can become a customer. If you don't like it, no problem. I'll never bug you again. Could you help me out and take a look at some information for me? Who could do that? See, you do that, they see the baby. You might not have to give them a gift. They might be like, hey, I'm going to hook you up. I'm going to try out your membership for a month. Just show me how to use it. Perfect. You got it done. Worst case scenario, I'm going to hook you up with a gift. I believe so much in my services and my products that I'm going to give you a one-month free trial. And then after that, it's, it's on you if you want to keep it. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. And qualify founder three. Go out there. Man, if you're if you're three people away, four people away, five people away, you could be, you could have one day, if you really wanted to, one day you could go founder three from zero. You could invite ten people to your house, sign up three or four. Let's say you sign up five, you need seven more. Guess what? I'm going to be a Starbucks from this time to this time. We're just going to somebody's house. <laughs> Hey, we just signed up. Chris, congratulations. You're excited. And before the end of the month, I need you guys to help me out. I got to hit this position of founder three. You know, which one of you guys' house can we do a meeting in and invite some people last minute? We'll get a couple of snacks, invite some people. We'll show them this video and draw this information out. I mean, it's not, it's a tall order. So I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but you could certainly hit that rank. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. You could definitely hit that rank. So from three to 11, you make a hundred bucks. There's no excuse, guys, to be left with 9, 10, 11 people and not hit on three. There's no excuse. You get home? I mean, you're leaving money on the table. Straight up. I can tell some of my broke friends, check this out, and I'm going to lend you 100 bucks. Let's say I need two people. Let's say I get two friends. I'm going to lend you 100 bucks. I'm going to lend you 100 bucks because I'm going to help you up to never be broke again. Let's sign you up. Does that make sense? But there, I'm lending you the money. Here you go. Deposit in your back. Here you go. Get a prepaid card or something. I'm lending you the money, but I need your commitment. If I'm going to commit to you, I need you to commit to me. Then you're going to put me in front of 10 people in your first seven days. Because that's why I'm paying 100 bucks for you. Is that, do we got a deal? Yes. Perfect. Sign them up. See, see what I'm saying? So what if I'm taking, I got 10 people, two people away, and I do that with two of my friends. Now, they got this commitment to me. Now they're like, man, this dude's hooking me up. He's lending me the money. But it's cool. I lend them the money, qualified father three, and I got them committed to the business. You guys follow me? Yeah. Is that smart or what? Yeah. There's no excuse. Here's the thing though. You gotta get good, not just that you doing it, but you gotta qualify people. You gotta get people to founder three every month. You gotta get new people to founder three and re-qualify founder three and keep going and keep going and keep going. If you duplicate this, you're relentless about going founder three and creating founder threes, man, you're gonna make a ton of money. Does that make sense? Yeah. Get creative. I see some guys last month, man. I saw some people back up and I'm like, seriously? This dude is two, three people away, and they're not a founder three? So I'm like, I gotta address this at the training, so I take responsibility. Does that make sense? Yeah. So now you guys are here, dude, go founder three. You got somebody in your team that's eight, that, that's four people away on the last day of the month, that guy could go founder three. Think about it, if you do that with four people, does that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. I'm holding myself back from saying a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, go do meetings, get in front of people, and sign them up. You know what I mean? It's great. All right. So founder three. Now let's go to founder four. So in founder four, guys, who wants to go founder four? Who's going founder four? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Raise your hand. Whoever wants some serious accountability mentorship. Sit, hold on. Before you guys put your hands back. <laughs> Let me make something clear. Don't raise your hand if you're not serious, because you're wasting my time. Does that make sense? And you're wasting your time too, with all due respect. Because a lot of times we get influenced to raise our hand because other people are raising their hands and it sounds cool and looks cool. But a lot of times we raise our hands when we know that we're not really serious for that kind of thing. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So don't make, it, it, it might not be your time to want that kind of mentorship. Does that make sense? And accountability. And if it's not your time, recognize that it's not your time, and don't raise your hand. Does that make sense, guys? Because the time that your uplines and myself could be spending with you and calling you, and you're not serious, we could be calling somebody else and spending more time with other people that are serious. Does that make sense, guys? So I'm going to ask the question again. Make sure this means that, by the way, when I say that, it means because we're going to set goals for you to achieve certain ranks, help out a certain amount of people, do a certain amount of presentations. And you better do them, or you're going to get kicked out of this group. 
Does that make sense? Kick out of the, the, the mentorship group, not 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 this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's an elite group of people that are ready to go to the next level. So, who in here is ready to be accountable and to have an accountability, be a part of an accountability mentorship group? Raise your hand. Okay. No, no, you can you can be a part of you can be a part of another team. That's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a list of that, and we're gonna set goals for you guys and timelines, and have you guys accountable to certain things. And you have don't waste don't waste your time or our time. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll, we'll get a list because there's a lot of you guys. So I was gonna write them down, but there's so many of you guys. I'll take forever. All right, founder four. Let's go, founder four. Founder four is ten thousand in volume, which is about one hundred and eleven people. Okay, you need four legs. Four qualified legs, yes. A qualified leg means that it has a minimum, and correct me if I'm wrong, 360 points. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use no more than 45% from any one leg. Here's what I mean by that. 10,000 in volume. 50%. I want to give you 50. Really? It's an yeah. easy one, yeah. 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 It's even better. So think about it like this. Let's say, for instance, you got this leg has 6,000 in volume. Then this leg has 4,000 volume. And then this leg has 360 in volume. This leg has 360 in volume. You a father for? Yeah. No. Why? You can only get 5,000. Exactly. 50% of 10,000 is how much, guys? 5,000. So that's 1,000 here. You're short because you can only use 5,000 from one leg. That's where people make a mistake. Like, for instance, me for my qualifications for Founder 5, right? I was 360 short on one leg. Then we just, you know, got that done right away. We have way more than the necessary volume, but one leg didn't have the 360. You know what I mean? It kind of like the volume on that particular leg went down. Not, not like a lot, it wasn't a strong leg. It was like a qualified leg. It had 180. So, how many people did I need on that leg? Two. Two. Or a couple of cases. <laughs> Exactly. Thunder. See, yeah, you can buy some thunder. You could, guys, check this out, man. Like, let's say, for instance, now, uh, 360, that could be a guy that got his three. Boom, 360. So you could literally do the, you could literally hit founder four with two strong legs. Look, you got 5,000 from this leg, 5,000 from this leg. You got 10,000. You just need 360 from this one, 360 from this one. You're on your way. Does that make sense? You need two strong legs to make 2700 bucks a month. Is that a pretty good deal? Let's say you find, guys, write this down. You're going to have people that are going to crawl. You're going to have people that are going to walk. And you're going to have people that are going to run in your business. I learned this today. You're going to have people that are going to crawl. You're going to have people that are going to walk. And you're going to have people that are going to run. What do you think you do with the people that crawl? You crawl with them. What do you do with the people that run, that, that walk? You walk. And what do you do with the people that run? You make them a lot of money. Nice. Because they're going to run. That's the 80 20 rule. 20% of your people will make 80% of money. You stick to them, you see their back office, you hold them accountable. You go work with them, you do more meetings with them. You make them a lot of money because if you don't make them a lot of money, they're going to probably stay stagnant or maybe they might even leave. Which they'd be really stupid to leave this deal, but you know, just saying. Does that make sense? But you're not taking out the maximum potential from that person. Does that make sense, guys? Like Jim Rohn says it in one of his uh, uh, CDs. I don't know if it's in, in that one. In uh, Building Your Network Marketing, which by the way, I just ordered more. I've got like another hundred of the Jim Rohn Building Your Network Marketing business. If you're not getting your new people to listen to that CD, you're not being a good sponsor, man. Trust me, be a good sponsor. Building Your Network Marketing business by Jim Rohn. We have the CDs up front. So check this out, guys. When you're building this business, if you got two, let's say this guy's a runner, this guy's a runner, and here's the thing, guys. Check this out. Let's say you brought Tom, and you brought Eric, okay? Tom and Eric might be bums, but before they left, they got a guy, they got a guy, they got a guy, they got a guy. Same thing with this one. A bunch of levels down. This guy is a runner. This guy is a runner. 
Dude, you could go all the way down. Identi the runners, how do you identify the runners? They're showing up. They're following the system. You could say, all of these guys, forget all of y'all. You guys aren't serious. And go work with this guy and go work with that guy. Because they're runners. So you make them a lot of money. You get them to go, boom, boom, they're hitting it. They do 5,000 volume each. You already got the volume for Founder 4. Why? Because you made the runners money. The rest of these guys might be crawling, might be walking. You crawl with them, you walk with them, you shoot at them, you just good job. You know, high five, you get directed three, good job. You know what I mean? They don't require a lot of time. But these guys do. You go out there, make it happen, bam, you got the volume. Guess what? All you got to do is go buy it, bam. Go help a couple guys. Let's say you recruit this guy and that guy, and they got two people each. Check it out. Let's say they got two people each, right? Well, if they got two people each, how many people do you need? You need one more here, one more here, right? Because it takes a total of four memberships to make 360. Do you guys know that if you buy four cases of Thunder, that gives you 90 points? Yeah. You could go out there and buy, hey, you know what? I need some Thunder. You just buy four cases of Thunder right here. You buy four cases of Thunder right here. And you qualify. Isn't that smart? When you do that, you have to do it under their account, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can go sign up, you know? Mm -hmm. a, a family member hook them up. Yeah. You know? Or if it's a family member right there, you can just buy it underneath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can always just buy it underneath one of these guys. You don't have to create any membership. You can buy it underneath one of these guys. Give them that extra bonus. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of friends and family members that are, that, that are just customers. I mean, sometimes they don't want four cases of thunder, but I order the four cases. You want only two? Cool. I want the other two. Place an order. I'll give you the money for my two. But guess what? It gives me 90 points. Mm -hmm. Then it gets somebody to direct the three. Then it gets somebody to follow three. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Then I drink and enjoy them. I enjoy those extra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I enjoy those thunder take extra good. Matter of fact, this is one of those thunder that extra good. You guys don't know. Anybody done that yet? Who's done that? Be real. A couple of people? Okay, good. Tell me, you guys know the feeling of the extra good thunder, huh? It tastes extra good. And here's the thing, man. You're, you're going to be using the product. By the way, you're going to be using the product anyways, right? Yes. Man, I say it all the time. Oh, by the way, some of you guys are going to change your mind. That extra group, that group that wants to be a part of the mentorship that I'm going to do, needs to be ordering... Two cases of thunder every month on their account. Whether you're on my team or another team, I don't care. But you need to step up. Does that make sense, guys? Two cases. You need to step up. Hello, that's right. Yeah. You need to step up. Two cases, you get free shipping. You know what I mean? If not, you gotta be a part of the group because you're not a product of the product. Not a product of the product, bro. So I'm gonna check. You're gonna show me in your back office your volume. Last couple of days ago, it was double. Yeah. Man, you guys gotta text me when that happens. <laughs> Honestly, I go on Facebook, especially to post stuff. I don't really go and look at it a lot because I'm doing games. You missed it. I got mine. Yeah? Double volume or what? Double volume. Double volume. Man! So they had 10 cards of Cancun. Cancun drip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had 10 cards of Cancun. You just pay the shipping. You paid uh, 995. Yeah, you paid the shipping on the. I got I got a bunch of cards. Yeah. Wow. Flyers, everything was. Like, the last thing I was doing in this deal screen, right here, everything was. It was crazy. Well, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check out the deal stream every day now, because they got a lot of good things here. Yes, they do. All right, guys, let's get back to focusing. We get distracted a little bit. That's normal. Okay, so if you want to be a part of that group, you gotta be ordering at least two cases of that. That makes sense, guys. Yeah. If not, it's okay. You don't have to be a part of that mentorship group, which means an accountability group. We're gonna have. And here's the thing, man. You're. We're gonna set up goals for you guys and a game plan. If you're not following, if if your your numbers will determine whether you're really prospecting that much, doing that many meetings, and on your way to hitting that rank. Does that make sense, guys? If somebody's like, "Oh, I'm doing all of this," but they haven't signed nobody up, dude, no, you're not. Yeah. It, dude. Time will promote you or expose you in this business. Yeah. If you're doing activity, guys, you're gonna get paid. Okay, you're gonna get results. Okay, so founder, founder four. A any questions on founder four, guys? Before we move on to the next one. Okay, good. So founder four, ten thousand volume makes you that. Now think about it like this: 
Let's say you got lucky. And this guy gets placed under you and he does 5,000 in volume. That counts. You guys realize that? That is bananas, man. Everybody say bananas. bananas. <laughs> That's bananas. You got somebody that falls on you. They do 5,000 volume. You just need another 5,000 in volume to qualify another legs and you're good to go. Is that pretty ridiculous? Yeah. So with 5,000 in volume that you did in that example that you personally did with you and your group, that place volume, 5,000 that you did, you're making 2,500 bucks a month, 2,700 bucks a month. That's like 50% of founder four that you're getting. Now, granted, you do got 10,000 volume under you, but the other 5,000 in that example was placed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's crazy, man. So this comp plan, guys, is unmatched. So that's a 50% rule. You can't use more. Then founder five, you just double the volume. 20,000 in volume. That right there, it has a 45% rule. So 20,000 volume, you can use only 9,000 from any one leg. Because that's 45%. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So, like, for instance, one of my legs is Chris. How much volume did you do last month, Chris? Almost 17,000. Dude, I had... I don't like him. <laughs> I love him. That's, that's a good problem to have. But that's eight thousand dollars in volume more than what I could use from his leg for Father Five. Does that make sense? Yeah. That'd be awesome. You know what I mean? Like, oh shoot, seventeen thousand just need three thousand more from over here. You know what I'm saying? But we, I had other legs too that, that did more than ten thousand. So I had it just in two legs. I had the volume. I just needed to do the three sixty on five. Now you need five legs, five qualified legs. So now you need a, a, a fifth leg, three you know three additional legs that do 360, and you can split it up anyway. Like let's say for instance it's 20,000 volume, you do 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. It doesn't matter how to split, as long as you're not using more than 45 uh, percent for any one leg. How do you make more work? Well, the way you make more is simple. You sign them up, and you place them direct to you. So right now Joseph is going to show you how, how to do that. So when you sign somebody up and they're in your holding tag, all you got to do is just Joseph, she wants to know how to sign up somebody direct. So, so do you have anybody you're holding? You don't have to place up, but no, no, I don't even. Don't even okay, one. here's the thing. It's simple. If you don't have your holding, okay. If you are you asking if your holding things on? No, no. She's asking how you get more frontline legs. Yeah. So once you put your three. Okay, if her holding tag is not on and she signs somebody up, it'll automatically, it'll go automatically right. place it in your front line. line. So like, let's say you got three or you want a point leg, make sure your holding tag is off. You know what I mean? And then sign them up on your website and they'll automatically get places you want them. But anybody you keep signing up, they keep opening up a new leg. So if you don't want that, turn on your holding tag and when you sign them up, they go on your holding tag and then you can place them wherever you want. Is that correct? So you can just go right here and put your user, you can put your username right here. You see that? Right. You, gotta, you gotta have your you gotta have your uh, your waiting room on. Once you put your first three in, put the waiting room on. You want it on. Yeah. And then you'll go to your waiting room, you just click on details right here, search the name and just pulls it up, place it underneath you, and then you're good to go. And you'll place it directly right underneath you where you want it to go. I recommend I personally whenever I send somebody up, I turn on the waiting room right away all the time. All the time. Because here's what happens, then sometimes they got they got like, let's say they recruited fast, they got five direct, they got five different legs. We're like, damn. Now we got to try to talk to corporate to get some of those people in the holding tank so we can place them under them. It's a big mess. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. If they're holding room, now you as a, as a mentor, you that been in training, let's say you sign somebody up, guys. All right, so let's say you sign somebody up. You sign up there. Okay, now you got five people in your holding tank. Let's place this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now the other two, where do you want them? Does that make sense, guys? I want them under this guy and this guy. Okay, then you show them how to place them under there. The problem is that a lot of times we got new people, and these new people don't know what they're doing. They, like, I've seen some back offices, man, where people had like 18 people, and they're not even directed three. You know what I mean? And they sponsor like more than three. Like people that, because they're offline, we're teaching them this. Like, like, like first thing. You guys have some experience like that? Yeah, guy has yeah. 60. Shoot. 60. Yes. Yeah, that guy has a real one big power leg. This would be one. Because he didn't like, like and he's, he sponsored more than one person, I'm sure. Yeah. Dude, so here's the thing. I, I, I seen a guy had 18 people, right? And then he was like this. What the hell? What's wrong with that mark? So, he had like two legs, and all those people... Those 18 people were under two legs, and he sponsored like four, at least. 
And guess what? He wasn't even a director three. Didn't even make a He could have been a founder three like nothing. All he had to do was structure right. And you know what? His uplines were teaching him how to do it. And I had no idea. I mean, I can't look at every single body. If you got questions, the best thing is to ask. Every every month, at the end of the month, I'm going to be doing some special meetings here where you guys can come in and we can see your back office and let you know where you're going to be and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But don't let me catch your team coming. If your team's coming to me and they're not going to you, I'm going to have a talk with you. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not going to be doing that for everybody's team. Just for the, that's why we're training on this stuff right now. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta sit down with people, look at their back office. You gotta sit down with people and ask them, where you know, where do you want? Like, first, let's say you got you got Javier, right? And Javier's a stud, and he's gonna roll fast. And then you got, let's say, John is right here, and John is not a stud. So you got an extra guy. I would recommend to put him under the guy that's not that much of a stud. Does that make sense? Because yeah. Javier will get his three, and then those three and so on and so forth fast. This guy. I'm, I'm talking about a guy that's working. Does that make sense? Not a guy that's not doing anything because he, he's not trying. But like, let's say this guy is just, you know, showing up to the meetings, showing up to the trainings, but he's just having a harder time. Then I would hook that guy up and put a couple people up. Does that make sense, guys? Because if you don't do that, guys, look. Let's say you got Javier. You got this guy and this guy. This guy, superstar. This guy, Javier, is a superstar. But this guy, not so much. So you know that these guys are going to get their three right away. So you talk, you talk to your guy. Hey, man, you know, this extra guy you got in your holding tank, let's say you got two people in your holding tank. Those two guys you got in your holding tank, you know, how your team's looking, well, Javier's a stud. He already got his three in his holding tank. This guy's got a meeting going out to die. That guy's pumped up. He's just going to find a three his first month. Okay, so you got two studs. What about this guy? Oh, I don't know about that guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's motivated, but, like, the guy can't get nobody to meet if his life depended on it, right? But he's trying. Okay, great. So check it out. Then those two people, what I, I personally, what I would do is put them on one of his legs like this. So I'm not going to make his team grow. He still has to earn it. He still has to go out there and get two legs. You guys follow me? Yeah. yeah. But I hooked them up. Yeah. Now, see, if I place these two people under him, I'm not a director three. I'm, a fun, I'm not a final three in. But if one of these guys just gets one, right, even if this guy doesn't bring anybody, there's still three people under that guy. Yeah. But what if I place them under this guy that's a stud? Now this guy, now I'm left at the end of the month. Oh man, I still need three people under that guy. You guys follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's a strategy. So I work with the people. Now, the people that are running, that's why I recommend, if you go out there and you recruit 10 people, your goal, who, who in here, who in here has 10 people that you personally recruit? Okay. My goal is always to have 10 strong running legs. You guys follow what I'm saying? Now 10 people are recruited. Anybody can recruit 10 people. But to have 10 strong running legs. That doesn't mean 10 different, 10 wide. I got four legs, one, two, three, four, right? But then I got six more people minimum under, somewhere under those legs that are actively building. You guys follow what I'm saying? Yeah. If one of them quits or falls or stumbles or, or takes long or is stalling, I got other people that are running. You guys follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if you're in 20, trust me, not all 20 are going to be active or running. So a lot of them are going to be slacking off. That's why I encourage recruiting, going front line big time, and placing them under four legs. Okay, so now, uh, director, I mean, founder five, 45% rule, you need 20,000 followers. Then founder six, it's 45% rule too, right? Or 40%. 40%. Okay, so then founder six, simple, volume doubles. 40,000 in volume, you can't use no more than 40% from any one leg. Okay, so that's what, 16,000. 16,000 from any one leg. Yeah. And then, you know, we just, you know, it just goes up. And you can see the comp line is And then you need six legs for that one, six qualified legs. Every leg needs to have a minimum of 360 points. Dude, if I'm a founder of six, and I got one leg that doesn't have an answer, it's like the end of the month, you know what I mean? I'll sign up somebody and buy some product there. I'm going to make it happen one way or another. Because that's what the product is for. You know what I mean? I'll get a customer. I'll get somebody and get them there. Okay. Any questions on anything on the comp line before we move on and bring the next speaker? No questions on the comp line? Okay, guys. One last thing. Founder three, we know we, we know the, the ranks. Founder three, you got 12 people. Between 12 people and 24 people, I'm going to write this down. You guys need to know this. Very important. So you're not questioning it later. 
So you don't say that you didn't know. This is, guys, I learned this my first two weeks. My first two weeks. I had a guy that could have been a founder for by now easily. He quit just because he didn't understand this. Which I don't care that he quit. Whatever. You know what I mean? We're going to create 50 founder threes and he's going to miss out on most of them. On everybody. <laughs> so check it out. Because he was like one of my four front lines. Yeah. And he quit. Now he's got a team below him that's going crazy. Some of you guys are in his downline. But he's got one leg. But he already got his guys all like, you know, unfocused and stuff. One of it, the guy that had ATP when I seen the three, his direct father three, was on that guy's team because he wasn't coachable. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. Father three, 12 people makes you 600 bucks. You got to have the structure, obviously. 12 people all the way up to 2,500 in volume. Excuse me, 2,400 in volume makes you 600. Once you do $2,500 in volume, which is what, about 27 people? Something like that? 2,500 in volume, okay? Divided by 90 points. Now you're making 700 bucks a month. Then 5,000 in volume, you're making 800 bucks a month. 7,500 in volume, you're making $1,000 a month. So look, look at it as you go up and rank the percentage goes down a little bit. That's called breakage. There has to be breakage to the company. People are going to ask, how can the company pay so much? How can the company pay you 600 with 1200 in volume? All of that because they choose to pay the people, the new people, the most money. But look at here. Then the break, it only goes up 100 bucks at 2500 So that's why you want to hurry up, go from 7500 to 10000 Then you jump from 1000 to 2500 Does that make sense, guys? That's a big jump. But this here, what it tells me, that's great. The company's keeping a lot of money, which we need the company to be safe. Can we agree? Yeah. The company doesn't make any money. They're not going to be around. Then our opportunity is gone. The key number, guys, is 600. You get people making 600 bucks a month. Think about it. What would you have to do? How many hours would you have to work at a part-time job to make 600 bucks a month? Yeah. If you got if you got a job making one second, if you got a job making minimum wage, let's say you got paid 10 bucks an hour on Saturdays and Sundays, eight hours on Saturday, eight hours on Sunday. That's about less than 150 bucks a weekend after taxes. That's 600 bucks a month. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Or they can do this. So when you get a lot of people to founder three, man, trust me, man, you you got a solid business. Now you got to help an average of seven to ten people hit founder three, so you can go founder four, ten thousand dollars. You had a question? Yeah. Uh, what percentage can you use when you go on? Fifty percent, right? Yeah, fifty percent of the volume. In founder three and founder four, it's fifty percent. No, founder four. Yeah. Fifty percent. So this all is fifty percent. You can use fifty percent on all that. So here, no more than. So if you got fifteen hundred from one leg, then you you can only have use twenty two thousand. I mean one thousand two hundred fifty from any one leg. You know what I mean? So to make seven hundred bucks, let's say you got one leg with twelve thousand twelve hundred and fifty, another leg twelve hundred and fifty, then another one could have three sixty. You're making seven hundred bucks. Okay, so that's the fifty percent rule applies. Here. Any questions on that? Perfect. So, by the way, the guy that, that did this, he had thirty direct. He had thirty people in his team. In two weeks, he built a team of thirty people. Right? Hit founder three. He had his brother hit founder three. One of his guys didn't hit founder three because he just didn't place the people right. This guy didn't coach. This guy said, "But dude, I had I did I twelve people." Make you six hundred dollars. I did thirty people and I only got paid seven hundred. He said, "I'm like, bro, that's a complex. That's a breakage. That's how it's supposed to be." But you, more importantly, you got this guy that makes six hundred. Your brother. So think about three a uh, three thousand in volume. Him and his brother make twelve hundred combined. The other guy could have made six hundred bucks, but he didn't structure him right. So he could have got they could have got paid between three of them eighteen hundred or three thousand in volume. Yeah. Why? Because he didn't understand the complex. The reason why I'm explaining this to you guys right now is because now you know. And if you don't, if you have questions, come and ask us. Ask them right now. But you need to know how the comp plan works. Okay? So I'm, I'm good, giving you the good and the bad. You know what I mean? There is no bad in the comp plan, but what you might think is bad, I'm giving that to you as well. So there's no excuses. Okay, guys? Any, any questions? Are you ready to make that first? Show people like you just get it in your back office. Yeah, it's in your back office. We actually have it right in print. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in your back office. Like that. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, just go to your uh, WhatsApp now and go to your uh, Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, it depends. Uh, go, you. I was just going to say, people, people do other other accounts because they get everybody on top of their volume. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's the point. But you don't have to. You can do it in the use of your yeah. Your volume account. counts. But you might as well do it in a tech where you have the chance to. Yeah. Okay. So that's better. Yeah, 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 that is. Because keep in mind, if I've got a leg with 360, 360, 270, yeah. they took my four foot of me because I need 360 on that third leg. Yeah. But like, let's say, let's say I, I, I'm a father four, and I need, you know, 90 points. Any one organization to hit father four, I can do it under myself. But, um, you know, I'd rather do it for somebody else. What if those, the, what if those 90 points can help somebody go D3 or father three? Okay. You know? uh, any other questions? That's a great question, by the way. All of you guys' questions. Okay, guys, now we're going to get into the services. Okay, and the back office training in a little bit, but especially... Uh, so we're going to let the next speaker get into the next part of the training, which, by the way, should we take a break real fast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please. Yeah. All right, guys, five-minute break, real fast. <laughs>